What's up, everybody? This is Gbro from Track Vultures, and today I got my twins with me. And say hi, guys. Hi. What's your names? Brayden, and my name is Brody. And I think I need a new singer for the studio, so Brody wants to volunteer a song to see if he got what it takes to sing and hang up in the studio with his dad. All right, Brody, what are we going to sing today? Need you love, I need you time. Okay, let's do it, buddy. Start singing for you. I need your love, I need your time. When everything's wrong, you make it right. I feel so hard. I come alive. I got the camera. to be afraid about you tonight. I need your love, need your time. Everything's wrong. Make it right. I feel so high. I come alive. Need to be free. What you tonight? Whoa! Give me fun! Oh, these guys are four years old, man. These guys are four, and they know how to sing. So work on it, guys. Work on your kids. What's up everybody, this is Jiba from Track Vultures, and I'm back with you guys today with a video, um, we're about to do an unboxing, I got two new items in from Personas, and um, let's check them out. Okay, we're going to be using the chair today for the showcasing, because I don't know, it's the chair and I like the color, and um, yeah, so let's get started with the unboxing. All right, got our tool now so we can open shit. Last time I opened up the, did an unboxing with the, um, with a different product. I didn't have the right tool to open it. I used my finger. But today I've got the right tool. So we have, um, box. We have two items today. And let's see what they are. Paper. Yes, everyone, the first item is paper. Packing paper. One of a kind. It's brown and kind of tan. It moves. No, I'm just kidding. I'm not trying to sell paper, but that's the first item. First item we have is the Personas Adam. Yeah, you know, well, I'm speechless too. What can I say? Anyway, the Adam is from Personas and it controls a few different dolls. Um, probably will control almost every doll you can think of, but I bought it to control the studio. Four, our Studio One Four version four, and um, I heard a lot of good things about this, like uh, all the other equipment that I have. It hooks up USB, um, and that's it. It's just USB powered, um, so you can take this with your laptop um, anywhere you want to go. It's really small. You can throw it in your backpack. You can probably throw it in a big pocket or a jacket or whatever if you roll like that. It's good for PC and Mac. Um, so let's uh, let's start off by opening it up. Get your USB cord, and it looks like a pretty long cord. I'd say probably six feet or more, just by looking at it. Yeah, I can do that. I have that gift. Um, it also has uh, it comes with the instructions, the user manual. Um, you'll get your um, serial number for the Atom, which is right here. Kind of brief description of how to hook it up. Damn. That looks hard. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do that. Maybe one chord from the computer, one chord to the atom. I don't know. I don't know. That's just so difficult for people nowadays. Um, so, we got some safety compliance kind of stuff. Um, let's see what else we got. Let's brighten up everyone. Brighten the Right, a little bit in here. 
So here's the Atom. Couple, couple styrofoam protectors for the sides. I'm gonna tell you guys right now, this thing feels very, very sturdy. That yeah, feels like it's gonna last for the next time. I'm really, um, I'm really impressed. And I haven't even touched it yet. Physically. Out of the wrapper. But yeah. I'm trying to get through this pretty quick. This is the Atom, you guys. Nice. Personas Atom. You like that? You like how that looks? You like that? It's sexy for you? You like that? Think about it? You dream about it? Oh, here it is. Knobs. Oh, yeah, this is really nice. It's really nice. I'm going to tell you right now. It might look cheap. This thing definitely does not feel like it's pretty strange. There's the bottom. Got some rubber pads for you. And uh, here's a little sticker you gotta peel off, the warning sticker. And right behind that, I'm sure, is your plug for your USB to your computer. So there you go. The Atom, you know, the Atom. We'll get some shots of this uh, after I hook it up. Um, but we have another unboxing to do, so let's continue to flow. Here we go. All right, Adam. Move to the side. If you want to get money, Adam. Move to the side. All right. <clears throat> the next thing we have is by Personas. And it is... Dun, 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 dun. Boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. Badass. Yes, I knew I have it. It's the theater port. My persona, single fear report, and I went with this, and I'm gonna tell you right now, I didn't go with this because it's the cheapest, and I didn't go with this because I can't afford the 16 or the 8. I was honestly gonna get the 16, but you know what? I figured um, a bunch of what I do here is mostly production, and if I get a chance to do any vocal here, um, this is what is gonna help me along that course. It's gonna help me. Control your dog in a way of uh, like a multi track mixer. Um, looks like you get uh, the same thing your USB plugs, um, you got your USB plug, and also you have the same safety guys that the Atom has, it's identical. And I'm sure in there is also my CD key for, for, for the fader port. Uh, next, uh, we're going to take out this white box that's sitting in the back of the box, and I'm sure this is all of our plugs. Now, I know the fader port, after watching dozens of videos, uh, and, um, I'm not being sarcastic, I'm being real. The fader port comes with a bunch of uh, connections, so if I were to travel around and I needed a plug, I wanted to bring my fader port and I needed a certain type of socket, I, I'm sure I did. And then, of course, it comes with your handy dandy power plug uh, and adapter. It's a converter, so you find the right plug for you, plug it in, and you're good to go. We're going to utilize that today. Alright, so let's take the fader port out of the box so you can get a good look at it and kind of see how big it is. And there's not many videos on this one particular device, so I'm just going to join the group of people that have put out some pretty good quality videos on the fader port. This is the fader port, everyone. And as you can see, this is my hand, and I don't have really big hands. I'm not a giant. Uh, my name's not Andre. Um, but uh, this is how big it is. It's about as big as my hand. I'm, I'm 6'2". I'm not that big. That's the fader port. Let's open it up. And I'm gonna tell you right now, this thing feels really good. It feels really good. The buttons are sturdy. This thing.
things made out of this metal chassis, like it's steel. There's nothing plastic about it. Everything is real hardcore steel. Even the fucking meter, I can feel it. Uh, kids, I'm sorry, but if you're really young and you're getting a fader port and you're watching this video, maybe your brain can bleep out the bad words. But this is a problem. This thing is so tight. Look at look. Look how tight this bag is. So tight. When I try to take out the fader port, it will move the fader. Look at that. That is not a good thing. All the way to the top. You know what I'm saying? Now I don't know if that gave the fader a good work in for the first time or what, but I didn't like that very much. But you know what, Personas? You guys make pretty good products, so I'm happy. You know what I'm saying? I'm happy. I got the fader board. I'm ready to work. My DAW controller, it's a production controller. You have your play, you have your loop, you have your stop, you have your record, you have your RTS, you can kind of like scroll through or search. Um, so you have your, this fader right here is um, uh, motorized, so per track it will keep track of, you know, your, your control settings, your volume control settings. It also will control pan. Bypass, you got your solo, you got your mute, you got your touch, and which is also shifting to latch, you got your trim and right, you got your arm all, you got your ring and your off and your shift button, which you're gonna use quite a bit because every single button is has another function of some sort. You got your lock, your undo, your redo. Master, this is just down, down home, down right go. You know what I'm saying? Persona, she did it again. So when you need something really small for the, you know, you got a compact recording studio, you don't want a bunch of big stuff on your desktop. This is the way to go. It really is. Um, look at the back. So you've got your uh, power, your power button. So that's pretty smooth. A lot of my um, controllers that I have do not have a power button, so power display on all the computers on you. you might hear a little hum or something, you have to get a different plug and guarantee that your plug that you have, so I'm going to get a plug that you um, You got your uh, foot pedal, so if you got a foot, foot switch, you can use that. Um, you can do some of the controlling, and of course you got your USB connection. Yeah, this is, this is pretty dope. Pretty dope, you know what I'm saying? Uh, it's track vultures, and this is going to help with all of our production that we do uh, here in the studio. Stay tuned for more videos, and uh, look out for that uh, episode 9 coming to you next week. You know what I'm saying? All right, you guys. All right, everybody, what's up? g Bud from Track Vultures. We just did an unboxing of some unbelievable gear that I can't wait to use. You know I'm going to be making some beat videos with it. You guys, thanks for sticking by me, watching my videos. Subscribe to the channel. I'm always going to be bringing you heat, quality material. If there's anything you guys want me to do, you guys want me to sample, uh, if you guys want me to sing, stand on one head. Uh, well, I only got one head. Well, well, this is a rated G show, so... If you guys like what you heard today, subscribe to the channel, like the channel, share the channel, and check out our website. I love you. Peace. And see you guys again. Late.